Spencerville's rushing attack has been dominant this season, with the 5-0 Bearcats averaging 482 yards on the ground per game. Zach Goki already has 987 rushing yards and 13 touchdowns through five games. As he, as he gears up for the second half of his senior season, Goki is the subject of this week's OIO Prep Profile. Coming off his 236-yard, four-touchdown performance last week, Zach is quick to credit the guys in the trenches. The big key is the linemen up front. They, they open the holes, I take advantage of it, and what turns out to be good numbers, it's, it's all thanks to their doing. He would know. Goki played blocking tight end as a sophomore before moving to fullback in his junior season. Since then, he's been the focal point of the Bearcats' rushing attack and a leader by example. Zach's a great athlete, number one, but I think that the biggest thing is that his work ethic really you know, maximizes his potential as an athlete. Um, he works as if he's uh, the lowest guy on the depth chart trying to earn that varsity spot. I think guys look towards me just for a little bit of vocals, but doing what you do on the field, just that, that, that should just be enough to just say, hey, if you do what you're taught to do. Yeah, everything will be successful. You just look at all the things that he does. Number one, he he's works hard, uh, whether it's the weight room or on the practice field. Number two, he's he's a fantastic student. Number three, you know, he he has been there. He's done it. You know, not only in football but in basketball and in track. He's been there. He's been in the biggest situations. Goki to win, got it. And kids know that when they watch him and see how he does things, that it's the right way to do it. Zach's play on the gridiron certainly speaks for itself, averaging about 10 yards per carry. And last year, Gogi helped lead the Bearcats to the second round of the postseason. Last year uh, with the Tenora game, it, it set the standard high. But this year, hoping that we'll get to uh, pass that last standard, the second round playoffs, hopefully go on week three, four, maybe even five. After high school, Zach plans to play football in college, but is unsure where that will be right now. Wherever he ends up, Gogi's time at Spencerville has prepared him well. If anything goes wrong, just keep a positive attitude, just keep going forward. Don't look back, just... Let it all happen. We're just making it on to the next level. That's all I've dreamed about as a kid growing up, playing the sports. It's everything. Well, I know he'll be successful because he's been raised in a home that, that has taught him how to be successful. And, and uh, I, I know he'll go off and he'll play college football and he'll enjoy it because he loves the game. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for him. I'm excited for his future. But I'm, I'm more excited to see 10 years from now what he ends up doing, what kind of job he has. Is he a husband? Is he a dad? Those are the things as a coach you really look forward to seeing someday. In Spencerville, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.